that with me today. Lonnie's getting that thing. It has been with my cousin for a little while. And uh, I no longer have room for it. I don't think I could live with it full time in here. Pretty much needs to be outside of my van for me to function in here. Anyway, I'm just uh, getting ready here. about I think it's pretty wet out there yeah it's pretty wet out there it rained all night and all night tonight. I'll give you one scoop for now and you can see how you like it. And if you like it, you I can... did do some grabbing earlier. Meter parking spot, Vancouver. That's where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Anyway, uh, it's pretty late. I'm just gonna jump in there. gonna go for a walk um, I'm gonna get situated at a new location and um, yeah hang on just fixed up a coffee in there and I got my mom's quilt back in the van right now I'm in uh, deep cove North Vancouver here's the ocean out here I'm basically just gonna participate in a ocean cleanup thing down here so I'm gonna put on the dive gear, go down there with uh, my friend Clayton. He's the one that's kind of putting this together with his friend Henry. And they both have YouTube channels. Clayton's is Aquatic Monkey and Henry's is something else. If Once I get the name of it, I'll share the link below. In any case, Clayton and Henry do quite a bit of diving. Um, Henry's a scuba diver and Clayton's a free diver like myself. And they do a bunch of cleanup projects in various locations and they've done a bunch uh, in the lower mainland this whole summer so i think the scuba guys are going to go off this dock right here <clears throat> we might go in around the boats over there that's the yacht club and then back out way out there is a marina i don't know if we'll swim out or go out to that marina but that's basically like your typical marina so that's kind of the activity and i'm still to talk a little bit about the aftermath of me downsizing and letting go of the shop. I'm still going through some of the motions of thought that comes from doing everything that I did around that. And uh, there's still quite a bit to digest and process. And I don't know, I don't exactly have a specific thing to say about what direction I'm going in at this point from there. But uh, 
right now this just seemed like a kind of a good distraction a good thing to do while i'm visiting vancouver is to come out here join these guys and do a little ocean cleanup <clears throat> tomorrow i'm gonna go and take uh um a friend of mine out he's he's actually someone that i've never personally i think i might have met him once but uh anyways he's a friend of a friend and uh, we mostly just talked over the phone but i'm going to take him out for a little hunt tomorrow morning up in the squamish area uh, i'm not gonna pull a trigger on anything but maybe a grouse so i brought along my shotgun um, so maybe you might get a little bird or something like that for for dinner make grouse nitchell or just wander around so that's uh that's the agenda for tomorrow uh which i don't know if it's going to be a part of this video but i'm gonna do a video on that too mostly that one's just going to be about me imparting some of my knowledge about hunting and the skills that i've used to hunt black tailed deer up in that area for this gentleman and um yeah just develop a, a friendship a relationship that kind of thing just go out and enjoy nature just because i got rid of my freezers and all that stuff doesn't mean i can't go out there and appreciate the landscapes and the beauty and all that sort of thing and share that back with you guys so uh, tomorrow kind of do that uh, it's just a side adventure it's nothing important it's just feels like something that i want to do and uh be nice to teach him uh, teach teach ryan a few things anyway these guys are going to show up soon i'm just going to finish my coffee a lot to say there and uh catch you up on more stuff in a minute but uh, we're gonna jump in the water here pretty soon this kayak rental place is really well set up for this kind of thing all right got one more thing to show you while i'm here there's a little cafe donut shop up here it's worth checking out if you come I'm not getting anything like that while I'm here, but <laughs> they are tasty, and uh, I think they make them fresh every morning. Is that a red truck beer? <laughs> yeah, red truck. Hard day. Hard day of work, IPA. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Oh, <laughs> what's your YouTube channel? Uh, actually, I don't remember now. It's I Cleaner think. Lakes or Divers for Cleaner Lakes Sessions. You know, it I was, changed you know, it recently, you know, you know. so it was Henry Wang, and we'll, now we'll, I think we'll it's stick actually, it up here somewhere. I think it's actually yeah, cleaner, think it's cleaner and, lakes. And clean, yeah. uh, cleaner lakes now. Okay. It'll be in one of these corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The visibility here wasn't amazing on this particular day, but it was definitely workable for what we were trying to do. On the surface of the water was a whole crew of kids on paddle boards as well as a couple kayakers basically acting as safety personnel on the top to warn other boaters and stuff of our underwater presence and also support us in retrieving some of the trash, the heavier objects, or just collecting it on the surface. <laughs> it looks like a it very it looks very suspicious to me. 
poop in a sock maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just another sock inside a sock, who knows. I found a GoPro. Let's see if I can show you. Whew. Um, I went back out with Clayton's fins. Uh, he's got the same Immenso ones that I have, but uh, his are slightly stiffer than mine. And uh, I noticed a very nice difference. But uh, mine were pretty, pretty pricey, so I'll probably stick with them for a little while. But anyway, it was fun to try them. And while I was out there, I found the uh, an old GoPro. Anyway, I'll see if I can share some of the stuff everyone found with you guys here. It took me a while to just clean up, and this might already be put away and thrown out. Yeah, there was a collection of stuff there, but it's gone. These things? Yeah, those they're giving away their uh, free two-hour rentals. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, got a couple. Thank you. No worries at all. All right, nice to see the uh, GoPro there. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to take the GoPro or? Uh, if not, all we can mess around with it. Yeah, we can mess around with it and get the footage off of it. Yeah, go for it. Cool. Do you want to do that? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll mess around with it then. Maybe, maybe I should actually. If just... you want to go for it, yeah. If yeah. not, I'll, I'll go for it. Okay. It's so, pretty cool, uh, GoPro. I don't know which one it is. Can't tell. Eight or nine or something? Yeah, it's at least an eight because it has the front screen. Nice to meet you, Henry. Yeah, likewise. Uh, looking forward to. Um, when I see the tag, we'll, uh, I'll send it to him. He'll send it to you. No, you can just tag me and then I'll, I'll, I'll just add you and all that. Okay. Cheers, man. All right. All right, buddy. Till next time. Yep. Cheers, man. See you later. It was a good distraction. It was. It was kind of fun. It was, you know see the crabs and stuff but there wasn't much to see down there really and it was pretty clean area I mean the other guys pulled out a bunch of stuff that I didn't get to share with you because they already threw it out in the trash um, but if you want to see uh, I'll link the other videos to those guys in the video description or pop them up somewhere and you can take a look at that and if there's GoPro footage on that thing maybe and it's you know we can share it if it's not a private sort of thing then, uh, then maybe uh, maybe I'll include that at the back end of this video if I got it anyway um I'm all done I'm gonna go do the laundry now good old laundry and uh and figure out a game plan for tomorrow
Anyway, I was chatting with Brian, who I'm gonna take out and do a little blacktail coaching with uh, tomorrow. And instead of driving my van up to Squamish, I was looking at the weather, and it's just gonna be like this for the next week, except for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be like not rainy, but it's gonna be cloudy. So instead of taking my van all the way up there just so I can sit in it and stare out the window and because that's what I'm going to do if it's raining out, um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to go up in his truck or his car, whatever he's got, and that way we can just share the ride. We can talk all the way up there and uh, go have a day out together and then come back. And I also won't be putting all that extra mileage on my own van and spending that money on gas. Uh, we'll split the fuel cost of uh, going up there, whatever his vehicle is. And uh, it'll just be a little bit more sensible that way, I think. But it does mean we're gonna leave this thing behind. And uh, I don't know, maybe it might still come back with a grouse and we'll do the cook in the van, I have no idea. It's just how that stuff goes. That's it. Bring the gun! <laughs> uh, apparently there's a bear over here. Hey, Mr. Bear. Mr. But those are huge sunflowers. Those are really, really big. Oh yeah, there's the bear. <laughs> Apple tree. That's what he's eating. Yeah, he's just eating apples, eh? Oh, yeah, he, some of the apples that are out here, he knocked them all down. Yeah. All right. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm just going to back my van up into Ryan's driveway there. That's what he wants, because uh, I need to have street parking in this particular area, like a permit. He's still there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's not going anywhere. That's funny, this is definitely the uh, the worst year we've had for bears by a mile. For bears, yeah. Huh. Crazy. Nice yeah, to meet funny. you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. It's funny, my girls would be like playing out here and they're like, oh, dad, a bear. Let me know what's on the SIM card. If there's something cool, I'll send it my way and then I'll... Uh, so this will be an SD card. Yeah. These have the SIM cards. Oh, okay, well, we'll the SD card. That's <laughs> Yeah. Clayton recovered the footage off of that GoPro. I'm gonna share a clip of that in just a second. But what happened was is he shared it on his Instagram account as well as his YouTube. It got some traction and the owner of that GoPro was put in touch with Clayton. She then sent him a $100 Apple gift card, which he didn't have a use for because he doesn't have any Apple products. He ended up texting me, he says, Joseph, I got a gift card for you. It's from the lady that the GoPro belonged to. Anyway, um, I'll probably take Clayton out for lunch at some point in time. His YouTube channel is up here somewhere. And uh, that's it, guys. Here's a little clip. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Hello, guys. Today we are in the deep cold. Oh <laughs>